have a boat that comes out called Maid of the Mist. They have a boat that goes right in there. They call it the Maid of the Mist because of all the mist that's rising up. Mist, mist is the yeah the foam. Oh, that white. And that that comes right up. उससे पूछ करके आई पूछ करके नहीं जमुना प्रसाद है ना हमारा जमुना प्रसाद उनका मीटिंग था वो प्रथम मीटिंग उनका उनका बिजनेस के लिए सब चल आ गई सब ये करिया काम तो अच्छा है आना किंतु ठीक रीति से हो पीछे बात करें मार बात करने जरूरत नहीं आने के जरूरत He's with us in Houston. He does kirtan, very nice oh, kirtan. Oh. Yeah, Govinda Prabhu right. stays with us in Houston. He's in the Brahmachari Ashram in Houston with us. Bolche. Bolche, I'm going to say Houston. Oh, in Houston. Ah, very good. Doing Kirtan. Ravananda. Hello, Dada. Ravananda. Yeah. Indeed, I'm going to pick this shoe for you. Don't be luxurious. Oh, yeah. Why do they put all these things? Who doesn't like all these things? For caution, this is, can be taken out. And they are too big. And the big side. Is it big side for you? It's too big, but they're there. warm. They're warm. How do you take it off? Any chair should be. I'm good. I'm coming. I go to the back. One, one something for me. I will. Thank you. Bring on check for Bumsi. Please give it to me. I got a knife. No, 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 they want to take you. They want to take you. You can introduce. It's a big day, it's going to be too big. Hindi, Jante? Yes, Jante. Where are you? 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 Where are you?
ये असल में कर्नाटक के रहने वाले हैं असल में कर्नाटक के रहने वाले हैं ये दीदी आई ना आपकी बेटी है इनकी पोती है विजया दासी विजया तुम एक लेटर मिला मुझे हाँ एक कार दिया हाँ कार में ये दिया ना ये दूसरों भी है हमारा महाराज ठीक है हमारा महाराज कर रही हो हाँ कर रही हूँ आपकी सेवा भी करती हूँ आप भी ये मूर्ति है विक्रम है ये ये लड़की बनाई है ये सान रेल से सान सूर्य का अलग से ये ऐसे जैसे चश्मा होता है ना ऐसे लेंस होता है उसमें देख करके उसमें ये ऑयस कांता मनी से ऑयस कांता मनी से ये किया है बहुत ठीक है नमक उड़ देवाई टाइम मेरे हवाई या आई नहीं बात यस या सही पूरा कभी नमक है आप ना जमने दो यू शुड कीप इट योर नर अल्टर ऑफ योर ठाकुरी Any more? Yes. Any question, please? <coughs> um, sure, Dave. Uh, Maya and Paul are here to see you from Very the Ayurveda Center. She's coming Thursday. Coming? Ah, for so the This is Maya and Paul are here to see you from the Ayurvedic Retreat Center. Their new guest. What are the two new guests? What are the two new guests? This is Maya and Paul from the Ayurvedic Retreat Center. I think they were asking if you have any questions. Where is Mukunda? I do have a question. He has a question. Yeah. You can come right here. Here, come right to here, sir. Right to here. She has a question. Yeah, yeah, let him come. You speak loudly. Ah, yes. I know there. What is the question? Ah, sir. You should sing Hare Krishna two minutes. What is the question? Ah, sir. 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 What do you have to do? After two minutes. Of course. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna.
she look good here? This building, right? It's your house. Are you going to ask Dustin? Yeah. Ask him out. First time to see you, Agni Day Agni Day! Agni Day! Is that the original Agni Day? No. Oh, my question. Uh, it's one perhaps you've heard before, it's a sad question. If you have been following with great love and devotion a certain guru, and unfortunately through a series of sad events, it's no longer possible for you to have faith in that guru anymore. It was a, a kind of breaking of faith and really there are two questions. One is what is the best way of recovering from the shock of being severed from a guru whom you have loved and trusted? That would be my first question. The second one? And the second one is, is it best to continue with a somewhat discredited guru or to have to live with no guru at all? Mm. Yeah. The question is that so much for the guru and Guru is disappointing disciple for whatever reason, then how the disciple can continue with his relationship with that Guru and how can he uh, have any faith in other Gurus who are not really giving him inspiration? I can clear last point. Last point, if one is in that position, his guru has left him. He has been initiated by any guru. Yes. But guru has left. But left. No. Left guru. No, no longer guru. No, no, no. No. He has lost faith lost in guru. Faith. Yeah. In his yes, guru. Yes. Guru but has broken. He has no. lost so faith from two guru. guru. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he should repeat the question. Guru has, guru has fallen down. Yes. Yeah. Why? Yes. Why? Yes. 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 Fallen down. Fallen down. Then what is the duty? Yes. Yeah. And second? Second is how to have any relationship with faith in other gurus who are not no. really giving inspiration. No. 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 The question, the question is... The second to question be with guru is, is it better to continue <laughs> with a how discredited form of guru or without no, guru? No, 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 no. Okay. Whether one should continue to practice bhakti with a guru who is no longer in proper standing, or should one have no in this condition, Srila Sanatana Goswami, Jiva Goswami, in his Sandarbh book, he has written all these things. First, a devotee should test a guru that really his guru or not. He is always chanting, remembering Krishna or not. He has some realization with Krishna or not. And he knows all Shastra, Vedic scriptures, scripture, so that he can remove all the doubts of devotees, disciples, and he must be detached from worldly desire. And then he should try to do, to take initiation from him. 
but unluckily he had not tested and he made guru but guru fallen fall down like so many school leaders then at once when he knew that he has fallen down at once he should give up that guru no connection at all with him and here jiv goshami tells punascha vidina sammat grahe ek vishnavad guru you should go such any guru that that guru i told symptom abu and then you must take a again initiation don't delay and you should do and then according to his advice advice you should follow bhakti practice okay thank you both question one answer anybody else please absolutely thank you if your guru like that you told oh, at once give up him for ever my boy you also follow him so at once you so such any high class of guru and take shelter because now we are old you are old we don't know when we can go <coughs> very soon i think you should take any shelter are uh, you your question is yes. shri gurudev yes. this is a lakshmi narsingha pabu many many years very faithful service to swami ji shila prabhu pad wait tell me yeah this yeah. is lakshmi narsingha very many years faithful service to shila prabhu pad oh prabhu pad yeah prabhu pad oh, sishya yeah. many years faithful service and he has traveled and preached very much early days traveling bus party radha damodar yes and then temple president commander new york city many other many temples so <laughs> many devotees also inspiration from him this is bajinarayan prabhu badarayan prabhu radharayan badarayan prabhu i I don't badrinand. Yeah. Badaraya. 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 Oh, I said that you're not. Badaraya is best. Very very accomplished musician. Oh, very good. I will give him chance in in program. Uh, you must attend. <laughs> also Lakshmi Mishringa Prabhu plays very nice madanga and sings very nice kirtan. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> There you should remind me. Okay. Yeah, you should remind me. Yes. There's one question for you. Maharaj has been reading uh, Manashiksha by Raghunath Das Goswami. and the, the first verse about pride and surrender i've noticed throughout shastra there's a uh, synonyms for pride but the one that seems to be uh, most prominent is damba and damba comes up krishna says amani tam adam vitam in bhagavad gita and also raghunath das goswami and the chitanya mahaprabhu mentioned damba and um, so from what i've gleaned from my reading is that uh, uh, The, 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 there's three different types of pride basic types darpa damba and i think another um synonym is maya but uh, with um the the tika of bhakti no takur the, the bhajan darpa for uh raghunath das goswami i've heard various translations one i've read that says that uh six aspects of pride are illusion ignorance uh pretense deceit deviousness and aparad so but another translation i read that it says that it's not exactly part of pride it's not the um 
six aspects, it's something else. So I'm a little confused as to... Don't be confused. Bhaktivinoda Thakur, what he has written, is written by Krishna himself. No? His authority of bhakti, no? So, if word meaning seems that Bhaktivinoda Thakur translation is not right, he's not telling like this, he's telling in different books, different meaning is there. But what Bhakti Vinod Thakur has told, we should take it. And if that other things are favorable to Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Tika, then we must talk. Like Dambha means uh, they can tell, and, uh, I'm very beautiful, I'm very rich person. Very learned scholar. I am very good artist. Learned scholar. Oh, I am very learned and a scholar. <laughs> I am come... From Aristotle family. Uh, Aristotle <laughs> family. <laughs> <laughs> Especially wealth, pride is most supreme. If it will come, then meat, eggs, drinking, smoking and other things will come. So, Bhakti Vinod Thakur tells including all. In his meaning, all will include. So don't have confusion. It seems like Dumba specifically relates, in my reading, in my understanding, to pride of religion. What? Pride of religion. When someone Being is proud. practicing, I'm thinking I'm Bodha Vaishnava. Yeah. Oh, this also, it means learned. I know my, uh, anyone not equal to me, this also. Okay? Yeah. Don't have any talk. question, please? The question is, we want to ask, like Gurudev know, we are doing the television program. Oh, yes, we are doing the television program in Orlando. So we show Gurudev bhajans and all his teachings from his books, Sudarshan would explain. But we would like to do some interview, if we can, short interviews with Gurudev directly, talking about his mission so we can share it not only in Orlando, but also in New York, on television. <laughs> Orlando Television, they can do interview with me. They can come. But don't know if a sudden they have come. You have to inform us when no, they come. I have the camera. I have everything ready. You just tell me what time and set okay. it up. Okay, I'll tell I'll this afternoon. Okay. okay. He has questions. Maharaj, in Jaiva Dharma, in reading Jaiva Dharma, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, talks about the jiva being situated into Tashta Shakti. But it, it doesn't. It, he, he, Bhaktivinoda Thakur talks about the jiva being situated in the Tashta Shakti. But in reading, I have not been able to discern the. He doesn't seem to speak about the actual fall of the jiva. And I know that there's different. Um, opinions amongst the Vaishnavas. So I'm wondering if you could make that clear. So the Bhakti Vinod Thakur in Jaiva Dharma explains the Jiva is originating from Tatashka, Tatashka Shakti. But in Jaiva Dharma, no specific explanation how the Jiva comes from Tatashka Shakti in this world. Uh, or, or the origin. You should or the read also Brahma Sankhita. Hmm. <coughs> What Bhakti Vinod Thakur has told, it is all right. Some clearance will come from Brahma Sangeeta. A G who is serving in Golok, he cannot fall. Why? There is no illusory Maya. There is Yoga Maya. 
who helps to serve Krishna. That is why in Gita it has been told, Jadagatva nani vartante tadham parmam mama. Those by practice of bhakti yoga, all on earth has gone, and they have reached up to Prem, not only Prem, Braja Prem, Gopi-like Prem, or Brajabasi-like Prem, and they have now gone to Golok Vrindavan, how they can fall down? Even a man who has reached up to Bhav, Rati, he cannot fall down. How he can fall down? There is no illusory maya. Always serving Krishna. How he can fall? So you should know that Chivaj has come from Tatastha Shakti. What is Tatastha Shakti? Marginal line between water and land. land. Sure. No? But really, it is imagination in life. Imagine. Imagine. No such. Today, water is here, then Tatast is there, and second day, you should see here. In Jwar Bhata, high tide and low tide. Low tide, you can see. In rivers, also it be. So, it has been told. Uh, as an example, uh, there Karnabdhisai Vishnu is there, uh, and there Tatastha Shakti from Karnabdhisai Vishnu. There are three or four things that he has told. I don't. But there, where Krishna is having all kinds of sakti always, you know, Krishna. But when Krishna is no, has no all tatasya, all sakti, only with tatasya sakti, Krishna, then he is. Ans is called Vivhinans, not swans. And that what comes from him, it is called Tatastaji, from Tatastha Understand something? So coming from Karanadaksha Krishna. Mm. Uh, Karanadaksha, there, there is Tatastha Sakti. Mm. There is, it is not by Kuntha, neither this material world. In the midst, that thing. So when Swami Maharaj, Prabhupada, Swami Maharaj says the living entity is original, we are all. When Sri Prabhupada, Swami Maharaj says we are all originally Krishna conscious entities, that means, from what I'm understanding from you, that he is aware of Karana Dakshai Vishnu, but not coming from Goloka Vrindavan. No, no. About, if you want to know details, then Jayiva Dharma, uh, second part. Chapter 15 and 16. <laughs> you know, Tamal Krishna, Giraj Maharaj, Brahmananda, and from Ashadiya, all they used to come to learn something. They told, We want to take you to Western countries. Western countries. But one condition. One condition. You cannot tell that Jiva has come from marginal points of the Sasa. <laughs> and also, <laughs> I told her, I'm not con going to be controlled by you. <laughs> I don't want to take bribe. <laughs> Very soon one book will be published by Jiva Tattva, by what our Goswami has told and your Gurudev has told in different parts. Your Gurudev has never told like that, that Jiva has come.
come from Golok Vrindavan, but they have misunderstood. In that book, all reference will be there. One more, one more question. All right. As many as you like. So this is regarding my own personal spiritual life or lack of it. Um, I would like some advice on terms of my chanting. Sometimes I find it that worldly duties become more prominent, take more prominence in my life than my chanting. And I would like to shift to the chanting become, becoming the most prominent thing in my life, my, my commitment to chanting and chanting very deeply. So if you could help me with some advice in that regard. <laughs> You know your Gurudev, he was householder, eh? householder. Why he left this, his householdership? <laughs> he left his son, his wife, his wealth, his position, his so big factories. Why he left? So he can focus more on this preaching. Ah, you should try to follow. <laughs> I, 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 I can follow in Bhagavad's. Oh. You should know that you are eternal service, servant of Krishna. No? By your constitutional. constitutional form, you are eternal servant of Krishna. But you have forgotten. Your first duty is to serve Krishna again. No duty others. But now, when you have come to this world, Maya has given cross and subtle bodies and cover us. Now you think that I am. And then you think that my duty is to support my wife, my children and others. But you have forgotten that my father or everything, Krishna, I have forgotten them. And now I am new duty I am taking. But this is wrong. We should not. We think that our first duty and primary <coughs> duty, primary duty is to serve Krishna. So when we have a guru, transcendental guru, or very high class of guru, then take his advice, take initiation, and he will, by second initiation, initiation that we call diksha, you should have a relation with Krishna. That Krishna is my most beloved, or my son, or friend, or any of four. And then give up all these relations. And at once come. This is your first and only one duty. At once, return back to your home. For this, your Gurudev come to Western country. I am coming again to remember you all. Don't delay. I have, a, I have a question. Nikola, class I have a question. Oh, Dave. Oh, yeah. Um, you ordered me to practice my profession, so I am. And I, he's working. He gave me 
mercy, so I get to you. He's not, I work. <laughs> 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 it's all for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Yes, Shila Guru Dev. So, we are instructed by our Guru to serve the devotees, to serve the Vaishnavas. And we have <clears throat> our parents and our children are Vaishnavas. But still, parents are elderly, children are growing up, we must maintain them, and it keeps us from the chanting full time. So there's, how do we reconcile? You should know, I'm subject to Mahaprabhu. What he did? Mother old, and he was God believing, she was God believing or not? Vaishnavis. Parma Vaish, not Vaishnavi. Coming from Golok Vrindavan, Jasoda Maya, she is. Kaushilya is also in her. So, and wife, she was not against Bhakti, you know. Vishnu Priya, Prema Bhakti. Embodiment of Bhakti. Embodiment of Bhakti. So Mahaprabhu, why left them and went to Nilachal? Why? Oh, not for him. For the other Jeevas. Oh, to teach all. Your first duty? <coughs> oh, to serve Krishna. Most, more prominent than Krishna service, Radha service. That is, Root Goswami has come to tell you. One last question. Oh, come on, on there. Oh, one, one, one last question. One last question. Any new devotee, everything in there. One last question. Don't take any dosa. Sugar, this is a, um, an individual question. Very good. New devotee from the West Coast. Did he say, oh, how are you? I know the verse that Kainu Kampanchu should make sure my help with Jamai that night. That one has to accept everything, I have to accept everything that's coming to me as my karma due to my past misdeeds in so many lifetimes. But when that karma comes to the extent that it's affecting my ability to serve my Guru Maharaj and Krishna. I've had many head injuries as a devotee, which I sustained in my service. I was beaten many, many times in the head. I have not been able to read a book since 1978. I've been beaten in the spine. I'm in such severe pain. Actually, I was put in a motor wheelchair which I can't even read the instructions to use, that the pain is so severe I don't sleep at night unless I take a very, very strong pill. And I've come to the point for many, many years, I tried to tell you in 1999, that the pain is so severe that I become very angry. I have uncontrolled anger with Krishna, that I call Krishna all kinds of names. And it's very, very serious because I came to my Guru Maharaj as low to speak to develop love for Krishna. But because of that, not being able to do what I want to do in service to my Guru Maharaj and Krishna and the severe pain, I become angry and I feel very, very guilty that I'm not able to practice Krishna consciousness to the extent that I was. I was one of those devotees, very, very materially intelligent. I don't, I, very, very physically strong. If I had any pride, I, I was not aware of it. I understand that this is my karma or purification, but at the same time, it's very, very difficult for me to bear 
of the strength of this karma, and I'm asking you to please help me. I used to chant many, many rounds, so many more than 16, and that's all I, I would do all the years that I was a devotee and I would render service. I've been a devotee, or trying to be a devotee for many, many years. I don't even know anything about Krishna. I was never allowed to read the books, even when I had the ability to read. And now, after all these years, I feel as if I'm a failure to my Guru Maharaj. I All I can do is just chant Hare Krishna, and I have no, I just chant Namaparai. So I'm asking you to please help me. And to please, if you can help me remove this anger, it's uncontrolled. The pain makes me crazy. And I become angry with Krishna. For many years, she has been injured and uh, unable to read the Shastra. So much pain, not even able to sleep. Spine before, damage and brain she damage. She was very healthy and she was able to chant so many rounds. But due to circumstances, she was injured, beaten by others. And although she understands that originally we have been requested and inspired to develop love for Krishna, but she oftentimes is very angry with Krishna. Uncontrolled and anger. Very much uncontrolled. How to give up this anger and how you can help her. Please help her in this situation. She wants to chant, wants to do everything, to need your help. I live, give up that anger. I live alone. I'm very strict, strict with the practices. Well, I don't associate I'm with non devotees. You, you have told that you believe in karma. Also, you should know Tattenu Kampa. What meaning? That all of the that there is mercy coming from Krishna that I must continue to serve you with my body, also, mind, and words. Should know, that the karma these uh, are effects of my me. karma. Yeah. That for general person, karma is applied there. But those who have accepted pure guru, bona fide guru, <coughs> and chanting name, <coughs> we see that. Also, they have some sufferings. Haridas Thakur was beaten in 22 markets. Prahlad Maharaj, no offense, no karma. Hmm? But his father gave him poison. He wanted to kill him in so many ways, in fire here, there. It was not karma, karma but it was mercy of Krishna. By these, by his personal uh, associates, he want to teach whole world that you should be tolerant like this. In bhajan, and Draupadi no also has no karma. Sita Devi Ramchandra has no karma that he went forest, forest for <coughs> 14 years. So you should try to reconcile by this, that this is the mercy of Krishna that anyone beaten you or anything done and again return back to Krishna consciousness. Chant peacefully Krishna name, read books. Cannot and read. I can't and read. See you want. You, you, you can hear. You should not read, but you chant. And hear Hari Katha. You should come in our classes. I think that everywhere you go, in my classes. This is telling so, so much anger, how best. to get rid of anger. Mm -hmm. She has so much anger, how can get rid? Oh. It's not even anger, the pain. pain. Sometimes I'm trying to do some service for my deities. Deep who have and anger. Such pain. And so much pain that I, in her then body. Then I become angry. Deep to have pain, became angry. Even Shamarani told me that when she's in pain, she becomes angry. She <laughs> told me this two what days we ago. Have told <laughs> All the Shastra, Gita, and everywhere it, that has been told. Krishna has told in Gita, ki, Kam esa krodh esa rajagun samat bhava. And by krodh, your intelligence and everything will go, and you will be like bad, and then you will go to hell. I, I know this. Ah, then follow it. No but how do I stop it? No question. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Radhe Radhe Radhe, Jai 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 Shri Radhe, Radhe Radhe Radhe, Jai 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 Shri Radhe. Today is Manjri's 30th birthday. Mangalam Babatu, Kalyanam, Hautu, the auspicious short birthday. Come, oh, Radha, that's something. Come, be happy. So today you should sit front, you should sing. Hey, Shamala.